Hey everybody, Andre here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import a file into Sibelius that was created in Finale. And in order to do this, we're going to be importing the music XML file. So I hope this is useful for you if you have to transfer files over from one platform to another. This will also work if you're trying to transfer things from something like MuseScore or NoteFly, what, whatever platform you are grabbing uh, a file from and want to open in Sibelius, the Music XML will be the way to go. So to show us how to get from Finale to Sibelius, my good friend and amazing composer Kyle Grimm has agreed to share some scores uh, with us. And we're just going to see uh, a comparison. First, we're going to look at how they look uh, as PDFs as they were created in Finale. Then we're going to take the XML file that he provided, and we're going to put it into Sibelius. And then we're just going to see what happens. And, and I'll just show you the kind of things that we're going to have to do in order to make it look good again. Uh, I'll leave links in the description uh, if you want to check out more of Kyle's music, but it's very, very cool and interesting and beautiful, and he just released an album on Bandcamp, so if you want to support his work, if you want to check it out, go ahead and buy his album. All right, we're going to start with the easier score, with the more traditional notation. So this one is called Cousin Nancy, and as you can see, very standard notation. And we're just going to go ahead into Sibelius. This is the quick start menu that opens when you start Sibelius up. And you're going to go to the Import tab, and then you're going to hit Music XML File. And you're going to locate wherever it is on your computer, where you're going to locate the file that you're trying to open, and then you're going to wait. Um, if this is prompted, just go ahead and hit Yes. It's fine. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is not change the defaults. And I'm going to show you what happens. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click OK and let Sibelius decide for itself and let music XML decide for you what you want it to do. So let's just see what happens. Well, this looks like a mess. So the first thing you notice is, wait a minute, why are we in portrait when the original score is in landscape? Hmm. So that's a big, that's a big issue. So you can, of course, change this. You can go to Layout and change the orientation yourself. That's much better, right? That's very easy fix. And then you just adjust all the little bits that you need to adjust. And you, if you check out my other videos uh, about layout and format formatting, uh, I go into great details about how to make this work. So, But it looks pretty good, right? It looks like everything got transferred over reasonably well. Some of the fonts are different. But that's to be expected. Uh, but generally, it looks it actually looks pretty good. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, the first thing that sticks out to me is down here, when we had our non-standard notation, where we had this box, and we had the line, and the hidden instrument bars. So that's the first thing that, that sort of sticks out. So you would have to do this manually. You'd have to go highlight these bars. Go to Home, go to Change. Under All Instruments, you're going to just type in No Instrument and Hidden. And you're just going to hit that. And that's an easy way to just do what you wanted it to do. And then you can pull back the, the, the staff as far as you need to. And the box is here. For whatever reason, it's hiding the bottom part of the box. So you can try to adjust that or just make a new box yourself. But uh, yeah, so there, that's the first thing. And you'd probably have to add another line uh, to make it look like, like you wanted it to do. So here's an arrow. Uh, but it doesn't look like the same arrow. So you'd have to do some adjusting. But the point is, it does a pretty good job of carrying it over. So if you need to open a file in Sibelius that was created in Finale or NoteFlight or MuseScore or whatever, you can just go ahead and do it. And again, here's that same same issue, same spot. You're just going to go ahead and do it. And it's fine. It's pretty easy. So what happens if you don't allow 
this uh, Sibelius and XML to decide for you. So let's try again. Let's open up Cousin Nancy. And this time, when we're prompted, we're not going to check the... We're going to hit landscape. We're going to hit... Uh, we can change the house style. We can. I'm just going to choose a random one. A, list, a lead sheet rep, reprise. It's a gross one, okay? Let's Sibelius choose instruments. Use instrument names. We're going to uncheck everything. I'm just going to see what happens. So when you uncheck the instruments, you see the instruments that were on file. Just to double check that it is what it is supposed to be. Then you can check the PDF, make sure, yep, it looks good. And then you can actually find them. You can just type it in, soprano. And then you add it. And the flute. You add it. You can get clever too. You can, if you say, you know, we're, we've imported this quintet, but you want to arrange it for something else. You can choose something else. So instead of clarinet and B flat, we're going to use a bass flute instead. All right, that's what we're going to do. And then instead of a violin, we're going to use a tuba, contrabass tuba. Tu contrabass two backs, sure, why not? And then instead of the cello, we're going to use. I don't know, something really random. Glockenspiel. Perfect. Okay, so we've now basically arranged it, and we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm curious. So we're going to hit OK. And oh my. So now look at the disaster that we've created. So we've arranged the notes, but even though we clicked landscape, for whatever reason, Music XML did not want to do it in landscape super strange so you go ahead and hit landscape and now as you can see it looks completely different completely different because you've changed the 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 instruments you've changed the fonts but this is a very useful way of arranging something uh, especially if it's you know being given to you from another instrument uh, from another program excuse me but as you can see the same issue remains where that more that non-standard notation does not get transferred over so now you can see this sort of destroyed version of Kyle's original score so that's how you import music XML super simple all right so now that I've shown you how to import a file that uses standard notation I'm going to show you how how, how it'll look if we try to import something that has non-standard notation uh, and I just have a feeling that we're going to make a huge mess of it. So I apologize to Kyle uh, for ruining the notation of this amazing piece of music for alto sax and live electronics. So let's just take a look at the PDF. We have a set of performance notes. We have, oh no, we have graphics. We have imported graphics. That spells disaster. That spells disaster for our setup here. We have another imported graphic. And then we have a bunch of custom lines, custom symbols, all of this stuff that importing XML is gonna just make a meal of. So let's let's just see what happens. We're gonna go to our quick start menu. We're gonna go to import. We're gonna go to music XML. We're gonna find where the XML file is. And we're going to go through all those prompts and we're here so the first thing you notice where is the title pages where where are the first two pages of instructions this is it's all gone we don't have our title page and we don't have our instruction sheet disaster very very uncool Sibelius you'll also notice that the margins are different so here the margins are a lot closer to the left side and the right side, whereas here we're fine on the right, but on the left it's a mess. Uh oh, we're gonna have to change that. And then as you can see, the we have a lot of stuff, but it's not quite correct. So all of the all of the notes are fine, but this is not the same piece. All of the intricate work that went into designing that beautiful score has just gone out the window. And it won't even be saved if we try to change the layout. If we go to landscape, it'll just make it worse. Yep. 
What a mess. So, as you can see, I don't even think we're going to be able to salvage this. You know, in the first example, you could do a little bit of cleanup and it'll basically look like the same score. But with something like this that was created using a lot of custom graphics, custom lines, it's hopeless. Don't even bother. Don't try. Because it will be more of a headache than it needs to be. Just create it in Finale and use the PDF. Uh, so, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but when you're importing a file from Finale or some other from other notation software that has a lot of custom stuff and is beautifully created like this with uh, lines and other non-standard notation, it's not going to work. Sibelius is not yet advanced enough to process the XML file in such a way. So. There you have it, folks. That is how you successfully and unsuccessfully transfer over XML files from Finale to Sibelius. I hope this was useful for you. I hope it was entertaining. I hope uh, you were able to check out some of Kyle's music. Again, links in the description below. And if this was useful for you, go ahead and hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see and hear more content from me and I hope you have an awesome day.